Well, I think each moment is practice, but um, somebody has to make it, and each moment of practice is complete, but somebody has to make it complete. There uh, needs to be a conscious effort to live uh, each moment fully. And I think, um, and then free of, free of thinking, free of intellectual investigation, just kind of go beyond thinking and even go beyond pursuing, but also you are pursuing too because you are consciously sitting still and straight up. So yeah, in Zen always there's a kind of question. Uh, if everyone is already enlightened, why do we have to practice? <laughs> and that's a good dilemma, but uh, maybe uh, the Zen answer is that um, practice is enlightenment, but enlightenment is practice also. So you need to have an endeavor. And uh, this um, freedom makes us kind of um, enjoyable in life and then uh, humorous too. You know, there's always some humor and paradox. I think the, you know, among uh, different uh, schools of Buddhism, maybe the uniqueness of uh, Zen is a paradox, to view everything as a paradox. So, um, <clears throat> and paradox is sometimes funny, you know, like, uh, okay, hunting dog is running around the forest. But if you put it upside down and then say, the forest is running around the hunting dog. That is funny, right? But uh, in a way that both are true. Uh, we uh, normally see only one, one way, but there is always the other way. Uh, so when uh, we hear about uh, Zen uh, teacher saying, mountain walks, mountain flows on the water. Um, it's strange and then weird, but uh, in a way it's true. I mean, there's always uh, <coughs> uh, a truth on the other side. And then in a way, being free from the normal conception uh, we can see the other side, which is often uh, strange and funny. 